Where do we even start? Stepping. The act of placing one foot after the other. Just walking. Walking down a normal street. It's a normal day with normal people living their normal lives. Thinking blank thoughts. Free. We all long for adventure. To be somewhere we aren't. So what if I wasn't here? What if I was in Venice? New York? Tokyo? Anywhere but home. Wishing to be safe so I keep walking. But what if it wasn't a normal day? And I wasn't a normal person? You know, a time-traveling adventure sounds quite fun. Hold that thought. Now this, this is a story worth telling. A new time, new location, it feels so familiar. Following clues hidden throughout a dense forest of my own thoughts, with the roots digging deeper into my past. Burnt pages left for me to find like bait on the end of a hook. I'm still walking, following them, hoping they lead me to something. The treasure? Answers? Being dragged deeper into the depths of my own mind. My facade fading. Holding on to the past as if it is my future and the fact that I haven't changed. As if past mistakes aren't learnt from. Loathing in my own self-hatred as I put the pieces together. Rediscover a part of myself long thought to be gone. Dead. Trust. Betrayal. Pain. Regret. Guilt. Acceptance. A sanctuary found at the base of my thoughts. Built with the bricks of my past stretching onto the grounds of my future. Carved from the very fabric of my mind. Fiction, but truth at the same time. Still searching. Hunting for a treasure I cannot fathom. The answers of why this mind is so fractured broken why there are so many blank pages in these halls these pages are ready to be written upon i'm no longer trying to carve a new past into the future but living in the present the noise finally drowning out destiny where each person is confined in a story written by somebody else we cannot change what our destiny is We're all each on our own selected journey with no course change along the way. Well, I 
I was never a big fan of Destiny myself. What a surprise. I'm still fucking walking. Wounded? Broken? Walking towards suffering in a bulletproof safe under lock and key. Hoping to find answers that I've longed for with no guarantee that they'll be there with each new thought, a new wave of possibilities. My sole reason to exist now is to seek out these answers. But does that revert me to what I used to be? An empty shell. A lonely soul. I found the treasure I always longed for. The answers. But at what cost? The damage induced by my soul, the scars formed in this mind. I'm tired. But this revelation has given me a new purpose. These thoughts, memories carved out of lies and mental manipulations, titles given to me by the people who made me suffer, the manipulator, the monster, the madman, the bad guy. All titles I outlived. Maybe it's time to be who I am now and accept who I was then. And the consequences? On my conscience, let them lay. Maybe this was an adventure to free the fractured mind of baggage. Or to enjoy the freedoms of being free. Able to wander and explore. Find answers to questions long thought closed off. Maybe walking in the face of danger is what life is about. And being able to be free to do so is what we live for. And maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And maybe this is just my way of coping, living, learning, loving, caring, hoping, longing, wishing for things to change, but never changing. Walking, running, pacing, slowing down these thoughts with their intrusive nature, cleaning my conscience, cleansing my soul, living and moving forward, looking towards the future, accepting mistakes, finally moving on to live to the day these stories fade, to long outlast the passage of time. To finally accept this gravel underneath my feet. One step at a time. 